the dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun! We'll open all our presents when they come, won't we? Hooray! Yay! Oh, I'm looking after my nephews and nieces so their mums and dads can have a rest and a nice cup of coffee. Hello there! Hello! You're, You're doing, doing a great, great job. job! Captain Feathersword! <laughs> this is my youngest niece, Polly. What's it like to be a pirate? A pirate? Well, a pirate's life is... Well... Picture of you, Santa, and Dorothy the dinosaur. It's a very unusual picture. Unusual? What's unusual? Uncle, you know Santa? Oh, yes, I do, Polly. Well, what's he like? Santa? Well, um, he lives in the North Pole uh, and he loves giving presents. You know, Polly, I'd have to say, all in all, Santa is a wonderful man. And a lot of fun! Come along, daughter, and come along, listen. I really love Christmas. 
Good friends with Dorothy the dinosaur. Oh, wonderful friends. But this is an unusual picture of her too. Unusual? What's Dorothy like? Well, Dorothy the dinosaur. Uh, oh, she eats rose petals. Uh, oh, she drinks rosy tea. Oh, and she loves dancing. Did you know she's five million years old? Oh, yes indeed. Oh, she's seen some wonderful things. In five million years, she's seen one or two interesting things. Uh, now, let me think what she's told me. Um, oh, yes, she was with her friends the fairies one day. Let's see. Dorothy was there when they first turned the wheel. Ouch! Oh, dear. Let's try again. They were there the day they first poured steel. That was unfortunate. Perhaps if we use a different kind of clay. Do you think? And they were waiting in line for the first drive-in takeaway meal. I'm sorry, but we don't have rose petals on the menu. Oh, rosy tea? Oh, no, we don't have any of that either. Just hamburgers. Well, I'll come back tomorrow. But I'll tell you there was something created without faults. One day in Vienna when they first played the waltz. Waltz with me. Waltz with me. Count one, two, three. And waltz with me, Dorothy. first ocean liner enter the sea. I name this ship the SS Great Western. Ahem. Let's try again. We helped Thomas Edison 
Edison develop electricity? Dorothy, perhaps if I used a stronger filament. Good idea, Mr. Edison. And we sat up to watch the first night of TV. Hello, Radio Olympia. This is BBC Television coming to you direct from Alexandra Palace. They'll get this right one day. But the only thing I saw created without faults was that day in Vienna when they first played the waltz. And Dorothy, all together. You just don't look... Well, it's very unusual. Oh, yes. Uh, last Christmas. <laughs> tell, tell us about it, Uncle. Tell us. <laughs> last Christmas, me hearties. Santa, Dorothy and myself. <laughs> well, that's quite a story, me hearties. <laughs> An unusual story. Now, how did it begin? Oh, yes. Santa invited Dorothy and me to see his toy factory at the North Pole. I'd been there many times before and knew exactly where to go. Are you sure we're going in the right direction? Oh, just down here and over there, Dorothy. We've been walking for a very long time. I can see it, Dorothy. Not far now. What's this? What's what? Oh, it says knock, Captain Feathersword. Oh! <laughs> We're here, Dorothy! Oh, let me do it. I'll knock, Dorothy. You have to do it a special way. Santa told me. Uh, here we go. Or was it the other way around? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Must be another door. Oh, down here, Dorothy. Good evening. Glad to be here. Oh, this is my good friend Dorothy the dinosaur. And Dorothy, this is Washington, Santa's chief elf. Hello. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too, Dorothy. Oh dear. Is there anything wrong? Just a lot of work to do, and Santa's always so busy, Dorothy. Anyway, I know he'll be glad to see you. Please, hop on board. Oh, isn't it great, Dorothy? These are all the presents. There is miles and miles and miles of them, all ready for Santa to deliver on Christmas Eve. Hi, Harry. Hi, Washington. Oh, I've got another container of cricket. Row C, just below the baseball bats, and next to the candy canes. Hello there, Harvey. Washington, where do the tea sets go? Next to the harmonicas, row J, third shelf from the top. I've got a fresh load of compasses. Oh, row T, bottom shelf, next to the banjos.
you know, there's so much work for Santa every year. I think it's just too much. This year it'll be different. I've got together with the other elves and we've organised something that'll make Santa's life a whole lot easier. Welcome, Captain Feathersword. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Santa! Ho ho! Oh, meet my very good friend, Dorothy the Dinosaur! Hello, Santa. I've heard so much about you over the years. Merry Christmas to you, Dorothy. Ahem. Thank you. Hmm. What is it, my friend? Everyone, I have an announcement. Well, Santa, for so many years you've worked so hard giving presents, but it's time you let us give you a present. There isn't anything I could possibly want. Ah, I think we've found something that you'd enjoy very much, and it's in this package. What do you think it is, Dorothy? It's a very unusual shape. Oh, could it be one of those wonderful jet skis where you ride over the water and the waves and go very fast, sometimes splashing people? Oh, that would be a great present for Santa. It's not that. I know. Oh, I, I know. It's a motorized go-kart with mag wheels and GT stripes down the side that goes really fast and have a silver horn that goes... Oh, Santa would really like that! Wrong again. Well, what is it? There's a card. Dear Santa, with all our love and affection, Washington, Harry and Harvey, thank you very much. It looks like... Could it be... A chair? It's so you can put your feet up and relax for once. Please, sit just there. Whoa! Well, I better get up. There's so much work to do. But Santa, you say that every year. No, please, stay there. This time I have something that'll make your job so much easier and you'll be able to completely relax. Something else? Santa, it's a brand new system. Computerized. And it's so simple. Let's see. I need two letters to use as an example. All right. Who's this letter from? Wags the dog. Oh, I know Wags. A wonderful dog. Loves a party. Loves to dance. Always up for a practical joke. Oh, that's my Wags. All right. Now, Wags has written down his request for a present here. Ruff. Dear Santa, it would be awesome if I could get for Christmas a CD of dancing music. Thanks so much, Santa. Ruff. All right. I'll need one more letter for the test. It's from Henry the Octopus. I know Henry. He's always so neatly dressed in lovely plaid outfits. What's plaid? Oh, striped material in a special pattern. A lot of people call it tartan. Oh, yes. Henry loves tartan. What's he have to say? Dear Santa, I hope you're well. If it isn't too much trouble, Santa, I would like a new tartan outfit for Christmas. I know I ask for the same thing every year, Santa, but you can't have enough tartan. Thank you, Santa. You help make Christmas Day the happiest day of the year. Yours sincerely, Henry the Octopus. Now, Santa, what I do with these letters, they're scanned. The information is sent to the warehouse, the elves get the present and send it to children all around the world by courier. By courier? Yes, it's so much easier that way. I won't be able to deliver the presents myself with my reindeer. Not if you want to relax. Ready? This brand new idea. 
the computers directing the forklift. Oh, they found the presents for Wags and Henry. Now, the courier's standing by outside, and in a few hours, Henry the octopus and Wags the dog will have their presents. But that's just the dress rehearsal. We're now going to scan all the millions of letters you've received this year and deliver them the same way on Christmas Eve. Now you stay there, Santa, and relax with Dorothy and Captain Feathersword. You don't have to do a thing. Automated Christmases. Computer says when and where. This is better. Santa, try to see this brand new idea. You don't even have to say no ho ho. Press the button and away we go. It's very good, isn't it? All we have to do is... What is it we have to do now? Oh, yes. Relax. Yes, well, I'm relaxed. I'm very relaxed. I'm so relaxed, I'm stressed. No, 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 I'm, I'm relaxed. Ha, 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 ha! That should make me happy. Oh, it's hard, Dorothy. I've always delivered presents. It never felt like work. Perhaps, Dorothy, I would like a cup of rosy tea. Perhaps that will help me... What's that word again? Relax! Re oh, yes. Relax. Santa, let me pour you some rosy tea. That always makes me relaxed. The smell is lovely. The petals are beautiful to look at, too. Oh, do you know my good friends, the fairies? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Santa! Do you mind if I throw some in the air? Hey! That always cheers me up, watching the beautiful colours. Good idea! Thank you, Dorothy. Oh, 
but I'm the most relaxed. No one could be more relaxed than me, Santa, Dorothy. I'm the most relaxed I've ever been. Oh, have you ever seen anyone so relaxed? Whoa! Well, me hearties, it was about this time in another part of the world that a very unusual thing happened. Wags the dog was lying in bed when he heard something very loud. Why would a plane be landing so close to his house? And then Wags heard something else. <laughs> Inside the package was a card. It was from Santa, and this was Wag's Christmas present coming a little early. <laughs> well, me hearties, Wags was really happy. He was so looking forward to the disco CD he'd asked for. Actually, he couldn't wait for Christmas to open the present. <laughs> Who could? All those party songs, oh, he just had to hear them. It was gonna be so good! Not really something I can dance to. Perhaps there's another track. You see, the wrong CD was in the box. Somehow someone had made a mistake. Awesome. And then, a long way away at the bottom of the ocean, another very unusual thing happened. Who could that be so late at night? My goodness, who whatever could it be? From Santa. Henry also had been delivered his Christmas present a little early. And like Wags, he was really excited. Should I open it now? Oh no, I'd better wait for Christmas Day. Perhaps I could have a little sneak peek. No, oh, no, I should wait. Yes, oh, how lovely. There's nothing like a nice tartan suit. But it wasn't a tartan suit at all. And worst of all, there was only room for two arms. And Henry has eight arms. Hello, ho, 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 ho. Santa here. Oh, Santa, it's Henry. I'm ringing to say sorry. Whatever for? Well, I didn't wait for Christmas Day and opened your present early. That's all right, Henry. We are trying new ways of delivering the presents. Everything all right? Oh, yes, Santa. I'm happy for any present you send. Thank you very much. It was a tartan suit, wasn't it? Well, not exactly. Well, that's what you asked for. Yes, uh, uh, but, well, uh, uh, it has safety pins. Safety pins on a tartan suit? It's not tartan. And it's torn. Torn? And there's only room for two arms. Surely not. But uh, thank you all the same, Santa. No, I'm sure we would have sent an eight-arm suit. Oh, let me check. We sent Henry a tartan suit with holes for eight arms? Oh, yes. I'll check his letter. Yep, that's what Henry requested. But he's got something quite different. He couldn't have. Hello. Hello. There's only room for two arms. There, there must be some mistake. It's certainly not tartan. Are you sure, Henry? I'm very sure. Oh dear. Something's wrong. The computer's not working. Oh, see, nothing happens. Oh, let 
me help. I know all about computers. What if I push this? Still frozen. Ah. Oh, there's a button I haven't seen before. Here we go, me hearties. It'll be all right now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, now this looks like a button that wants to be pushed. Here we go, me hearties. Oh, I'm very sorry. I thought it was the right button. I didn't think it'd do this. It's not your fault, Captain Feathersword. There was something wrong with the system. Wags should have been sent a dance CD and Henry should have received a tartan suit. It just didn't work. Oh, Santa, I'm so sorry. I wanted to help you and now Christmas is only a little way away. Oh dear. I try and it's just no good. You mustn't worry, Washington. If we all work together, we'll get all the presents out as usual. I'll help. I'll help too. I'd like to help, but everything I do just turns out, oh dear. You mustn't give up. All inventions take time to get right. The fairies and I were there when they built the first computer. I can tell you all the problems they had with that. Years it took to get right. Years? Working night and day. So you must keep on trying. It will be good for Santa to have the letters sorted out. That's a thing computers can do really well. But I think you should let him deliver the presents himself. He loves that. And so do all the children. But... How are we going to get everything delivered this year? There's just so little time. Oh dear. I wish I could just go to bed and pull over the covers. Oh, we can't go to bed and pull over the covers. Oh no 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 Oh, there's so much to do, Washington! You can't give up now! The glass is half full! Life is sweet! The sun is out! Birds are singing! Tomorrow the present is out! He can always make me laugh. That's the spirit, Washington. You know things will always work out for the best in the end. Maybe we should just have Christmas the way it's always been.
work together getting the presents out. We were a little behind to start with. Dorothy and the fairy sorted through the mail. And Harvey and Harry found the right presents and brought them to Santa. And Santa made sure that everything was right and ready to go, checking all the presents. And that night, we delivered all the presents all over the world. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Everyone was happy. Wags received the music he really liked. Okay. Christmas. Look, there's Santa and Dorothy and the elves, everyone. Mom and Dad, can you see? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, what have I got in my sleigh for you? Here we are, Santa. Lots of presents exactly the same size. How unusual. Oh, dear. You see, Captain Feathersword, this year I developed a new computer program to process all the letters. A simple task, not like last year. The computer just stored the names of the children and matched them to the present. But how could ten children want exactly the same present? That's never happened before, has it, Dorothy? I can't say in five million years I've seen it. Very unusual. Something must have gone wrong. Oh dear, oh dear, I must have made a mistake. Well, there's a small parcel, that's different, plus nine ones the same size. May I ask, did you write to Santa? Yes. And what present were you hoping for? I would like a skateboard. Really, that's what I asked for. Me too. Me too. Me too. You see, they all asked for the same present. I didn't ask for a skateboard. I wanted a helmet. That would be the small parcel. The rest would be the skateboards. So there's no mistake at all. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Dorothy. <gasps> for a moment I thought, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Dorothy, would you like to try my helmet? Would you like to try my skateboard? Well, in five million years, I've never ridden a skateboard. <laughs> but I think today, well, it's unusual.
Christmas Day. Happy Merry Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas!